happens a lot when we're really passionate about something is we can start to believe other people's narratives about us. We can start to believe what other people are saying is or isn't possible. And I think it's so important to um, recognize that you are the author of your own story. It's your pen, you're writing your own story. And to just really listen to yourself and um, not let the noise around you derail you because the cost of not expressing something you're authentically passionate about is so high. And really, if you just stick with it and do all the hard work, not just the dreaming part, but all the emails and all the phone calls and get 100 rejections and write that 101 letter, if you just keep going, something will open. What do you have some of your favorite uh, types of storytelling? I really love interdisciplinary live work. Um, I really like all kinds of storytelling. To be honest, I think that each story is almost asking for a medium. Some stories need to be told through film, and some stories are so complicated, they, they need to be on TV, and they need to unfold over months and months of time because a character changes and doesn't stay the same for the hour or 45 minutes of the movie. And then there's some things about live exchange that are so special because I think when you're performing live, the audience is really the other half of the story. And if they're not with you, the, the, the story dies. And if they come with you, the story flies. And so I love the exchange of live theater. I love to feel like the audience and I are making something together.